What's going on, Five Track Fam? Welcome to a match preview special as Atlanta United will take on Inter Miami on Wednesday, September 29th at the Benz. Uh, Atlanta United just came off a very, very poor display against the Philly Union on Saturday, and there will be a match review in a later episode of Five Stripe Weekly later on this week. But yes, Inter Miami on Wednesday, they are undefeated against us. There have been five matches, they've won three, we've won zero, and there have been two draws. And there are six goals to our four. But uh, yeah, last time we faced them, we, uh, yeah, on May 9th, 1-1 draw. It was at DRV PNK Stadium. But uh, yeah, I mean, last season, Inter Miami, they uh, it wasn't exactly a banner year for them in their inaugural season. David Beckham definitely had uh, a lot more ambition of uh, maybe more success, but it was not exactly uh, a really great year for them. And uh, yeah, in terms of... Uh, you know, this season now, well, Phil Neville, he has uh, been uh, tasked at the helm for Inter Miami. And Inter Miami, yeah, not exactly uh, lighting up the league still. But uh, it is slightly better maybe than uh, last year in that sense. But uh, yeah, you know, you have, uh, you know, David Beckham and Phil Neville you know, buddies from Man U, so, you know, it maybe could have gone better, but it's still, still what would say, uh, we would say a work in progress, but, uh, yeah, last season finished 10th place, and, you know, right now, it's, uh, they're still fighting to get into the playoffs as well, uh, of course, Enley United, we, uh, with that loss against Philly Union, are unfortunately out of a playoff spot at the moment but getting into the key acquisitions for inter miami from the off season uh gregory he uh seems like a good fit in their midfield uh, next to blaze matuidi and behind pisaro but uh also kelvin leardom uh he is a uh, Probably their starting right back and is their starting right back. And then Kieran Gibbs from the offseason uh, as well. Former Arsenal defender and also, uh, yeah, he came in in the summer uh, with uh, kind of pretty much, uh, you know, still with West Brom for most of the early part of this season. And he's already... Uh, scored for Inter Miami, uh, so has uh, started off pretty decently. Uh, key losses from their offseason, Will Trapp, Andres Reyes, and Ben Sweat. But yeah, they're a team that uh, they struggle with uh, a lot of aspects of their game. Uh, and it's odd when you have a, you know Gonzalo Higuain up top, who uh, yeah most would say... Uh, maybe not exactly quite over the hill, but he's definitely a guy that uh, maybe has seen better days. And even with him up top, they struggle to score. But, yeah, uh, Gonzalo Higuain definitely one to watch for them. Rodolfo Pizarro, another one for them. They're pretty much their, uh, their playmaker, their guy that uh, you know makes things happen. And, of course, LGP, our old friend... Uh, is another one to watch. He's pretty much a stalwart in their back line now. Uh, and at times, they're club captain. So definitely uh, a guy who has ingratiated himself within the Inter-Miami setup. But uh, getting into our, uh, our injuries and availability, Emerson Hyman, of course, uh, questionable is Franco Ibarra, questionable is Ronald Hernandez, also questionable is Amar Sadich, and of course, Jose Martinez, who didn't play last match. Uh, yeah, I would suspect that uh, Alan Franco is going to just return back into the team. He, I think, was just rested. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Inter-Miami, they, they uh, again, are 
struggling at finishing their scoring chances. They are not that great at their aerial duels, and they're not really great at uh, avoiding fouling in dangerous areas. So Ezekiel Barco, Marcelino Moreno, Luis Adaruju should have some joy in and around the box. So hopefully we do uh, run at their players and you know allow that uh, natural technical ability uh, to shine for the five stripes. But uh, with all that being said, let's get into the starting or the predicted starting 11. Uh, Goose between the six who had a fantastic match last match. Uh, eight saves, but it wasn't enough against the Union, unfortunately. But uh, I think, uh, yeah, Robinson is, uh, you know, of course, staying in the 11. Alan Franco will return to the starting 11 and Anton walks as well. Uh, and into the wing backs, Lennon and Bello, I think, persist. If, uh, yeah, you know, we can spell them, it'll be Jake Mulraney maybe on the left. Uh, maybe Ronald Hernandez gets a start if uh, Lennon cannot go. But in the midfield, I think uh, we have to go. Hmm, might be a little telling of my forward up top, but Sosa and Moreno should be the two. Uh, Although, yeah, I mean, it's like you need Sosa. Hosetu's been playing better, but it's uh, who's more defensive Sosa is. And so uh, I think uh, Hosetu gets a rest here. But Barco and Araujo will get the starts as the wide men. And I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know if Joseph uh, should be started in this match either. I think, uh, you know, kind of continued rest for the stretch run will be important. So I think Jackson Conway will come on. He will be uh, the guy up top for us and hopefully he will be, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, against the union, uh, we looked slightly better as there was a target up top to play to and through, but uh, now, yeah, you know, he will have to produce some of the goods. Uh, he's still a young player, so it is uh, still a bit of an ask for him to, uh, to be asked to lead the line, um, you know, on a consistent basis. But for this one-off against Inter Miami, I think it will be good. And uh, yeah, so getting into some match facts, there have been under two and a half goals scored in Inter Miami's last eight away games in the MLS. LA United have won seven of their last eight matches in MLS, and LA United have scored at least three goals in their last three home matches. And so, getting into the score prediction then. I think that we should have enough to get the dub in this one and all three points. A 2-1 win for Atlanta United. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know also who you think is in the uh, starting 11 as well. But guys, that's the match preview. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.